to you lately? Why would you want to help her? I don't know. Hello? Hello? Oh, hi, Connor. How are you? Well, I could be better. Like how? This is really awkward and embarrassing to talk about, but... Oh, then you don't have to tell me. No, I want to. Someone wrote me this anonymous note telling me I had really bad breath, and I think it might be Allison, and I don't know what to do. Oh, you think it might be Allison? Yes. It was signed, Someone Who Cares. Who else could it be? I'm so totally, completely embarrassed. I don't think I can ever go near her again. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Why don't you just figure out what the bad breath is about? Fix it, and voila! Everything will be back to normal. I guess. I hope. I don't know. Trust me, it will be. Is it really that bad? Um, <sighs> it's, it's hard to say. I never really noticed. But I'm pretty positive Allison would never write you a note like that. You are? Uh-huh, she's too nice. Listen, I gotta go. I think I hear my mom calling me. <sighs> Sharon, that's who wrote it. She's someone who cares. Connor? Do you have a minute? Well, I'm just gonna plant these herbs for my allergy treatments. Listen, I need some advice about Nina. Should I apologize to her? I know I didn't start the rumor about her surgery, but I did do a lot of speculating and... Wait a minute. You're talking about apologizing to Nina? Yes. You're sure? Well, no, that's what I want to ask you about. Even if everything's true about her, does she deserve to be so humiliated because of it? I think it's best to be direct with people, Sharon, to their face, especially when you care about them. But I don't care about Nina. I just feel sort of badly. You don't even care about Nina, but you feel sort of badly? Is that all? Connor? And then she even had the nerve to be all cagey about it. Wait a minute. You accused Sharon of sending you that note? Well, not exactly, but I think she got that I was pretty mad. Uh, Connor? Anyway, I finally figured out why my breath has been so bad. My naturopath had me on this intense natural garlic pill. Huh. I don't get why Sharon didn't just come out and ask me what was going on. What kind of friend does what she did? A friend like me. What? I'm sorry. I was just too chicken. I didn't want you to be all embarrassed in front of me. Maria? I know. Can we never talk about this again? That's why you were acting so weird with me last night? But it's all over, okay? I know Maria wrote the note, and I'm starting a new supplement that will offset the garlic. Good. Because now that I'm sitting close to you, it's pretty bad. Okay, okay. Leave me alone already. I asked you to meet me here for a reason. Look, Nina's using her website to get her career back on track and get public sympathy. For what? As she says, for all the pain and suffering she's had to endure due to vicious rumors. Listen to this. It's a virtual testimonial of what really happened to her nose. I repeat, I have had no cosmetic surgery ever in my entire life. I did sustain an injury to my nose last week, but it was not due to surgery. This next part's classic. She actually stages a reenactment of what happened. As I was heading out the door to do my weekly volunteer work with Alfred's Hungry, I slipped while applying my lipstick. What happened next was something from a horror movie. The tube went up my left nostril. She's calling that Exhibit A. I could barely move. There was blood everywhere. Thank goodness I kept my wits about me and was able to page my maid who was ironing downstairs. She expects us to believe all this? I think so. She even listed her doctor's phone number. So if you don't believe her, you're supposed to call him for more details. Oops. Uh-huh. Looks like we both jumped to some wrong conclusions about people. I guess a part of me wanted Nina to feel badly about herself so I'd feel better about myself. And? Do you? No. I feel lousy. You're what, Brace Base? I'm lending you my support. I don't know what happened.
happened at school exactly, but I'm sorry you had to go through all this. So you think that on some sick, jealous level of their psyche, people wanted to get back at me? Well... For being so naturally beautiful? Uh, I didn't say that exactly. For being a success at a ridiculously young age? Maybe. Why does no one understand the hardships of being perfect? Hey, you smudged my favorite little piggy. Uh, Nina, I have to go. Glad you're sounding like your old self again. Have you noticed that I haven't sneezed once in a half an hour? <laughs> I've noticed this is as close as we've ever sat together. And that's okay? Mm-hmm. You smell so good. Are you wearing mint cologne? Maria, how am I ever going to get through the next week wearing this thing in public? I look like a complete nerd. Well, I wouldn't jump to any conclusions. You're right. It's not so bad. Who am I kidding? <laughs> you just wait till something terrible like this happens to you. Oh, it never will. Yes, it will. One day when you least expect it. <laughs> <laughs>